Good day. I worked very hard today, so I'm physically exhausted. Uh, mentally, I feel like a five-year-old boy. So I want to make some predictions today for the Swedish election, which is in five days. So here we go. The biggest party is going to be the Sweden Democrats, the Nationalist Party. They will get at least 24%. I think a lot more, but at least. And how will the others react, you think? Well, they will be very, very sad about this, especially those on the left, the communists, the greens, and the socialists. You know, I can see the headlines already. The socialist leader says, this is a national crisis. Yeah, I can see the headline. Hmm. And they will talk to the other parties, not to talk to the nationalists. Now, Who's going to govern Sweden? Well, it's not going to be the Sweden Democrats. You can forget this. The other ones will make sure. You know, it's forbidden for the nationalists to be in government in Sweden. And it's forbidden for the other parties to talk to them. That's how it is. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but that's how it is. So. Who's going to govern? Well, there are some alternative scenarios that are much more exciting. But this is the one that I go, will go for. It's going to be these four parties. They call themselves the Alliance. It's the Center Party, the Liberals, the Christian Democrats and the Moderate Party. They will get, get together and form a government. But in order to, for them to do this, they have to talk to the Sweden Democrats already today and uh, f after the election absolutely so and that's what they will that's what they will do yeah. not, not the liberals not the center party they will not talk to them but the other two and uh, this is what I think they have been talking already for quite some time making plans on how to get the socialists out. This is, these talks have been behind closed doors. I'm, cert, I'm certain about this. So uh, yeah, and what's going to happen is the Sweden Democrats, now being the biggest party, will of course put demands on these four parties. Yeah. But eventually they will say yes, go for it. It's very, very possible that this will happen. The Sweden Democrats wants to get the Socialists out at any price. So I think that's going to happen. Will it be good? No. It's going to be better than the Socialists and the Greens that we have today. But it's not going to be good. They are, these four parties, they are all globalist EU lovers. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I see a future here. You know, there's a lot of work to be done in Sweden, my God. Yeah, but I see a future. And my hope is with the people, the citizens. And that's where I, where I see the change. The people are becoming nationalists. And it's thanks to us, alternative media, social media, all the citizens, all those who spoke up and who are speaking up, you see. If it wasn't for alternative media, you know, the Sweden Democrats, they will probably have less than 10% today. All right, so let's look at the future here, because I'm relaxed about this. Yes, I am. I know it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. But today we have the Sweden Democrats in Parliament. It's going to be the biggest party. And then we also have Alternative for Sweden, the new party. And I think that's where the future lies. These two parties, yeah. And the alternative for Sweden, that's really where the change is going to happen. Because these guys are different. They have the balls to say that we are going to deport people. We're going to deport 500,000 people, criminals, all those who take advantage of the Swedish society. We have to send them home. Yeah, and this is exactly what we need. If we do, this might be a good country again. Yeah. A lot of work. Yeah. So I see the future with this. Yes. 
And I see some signs. I mean, the socialists are dropping tremendously. And uh, another sign, you know, we have a party in Sweden called Feminist Initiative. Yes, we have. And uh, they used to get like two, two and a half percent of the votes in the polls. But um, the re a recent poll show that they get 1.2. So they are dropping too. Which is interesting, isn't it? We have this feminist nation of Sweden. And then you have this feminist party. They should be doing well, shouldn't they? But they aren't. And getting just 1.2, which this would mean that they would not get uh, fundings from the state. Uh, all right. Yeah, so alternative for Sweden. They might make it into the parliament. They are going very quickly, growing now. They're going like a train. Yeah. Very good guys. So I'm rooting for them. And I do like the Sweden Democrats. They might. Got, they might have gotten a bit soft lately, but I know they are good guys, yeah, and they want to deport people as well, so, all right, so I'm looking forward to Sunday, be good, bye.